So what is the mystery book for this, the ninth part of the Harry Potter book reviews of uh, Harry Potter analysis books? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Is it one of these black spine books? Prejudice in Harry Potter's World. No, that's not it. The Great Snape Debate. That sounds like fun. I really always like to know more about uh, Professor Snape. Is it upside down? Oh no, there's two covers for the Great Snape Debate. It's it's fun. You can turn it over different covers. Gosh, I'd I'd love to see just a whole book on Professor Snape. A whole book on Professor Snape. Is that is that possible? No, no, no. No, Harry History sort of stuck in there between the other two. That's not it. Critical Perspectives, Seeker's Guide, The Hidden Key, Small Slender Black Book, Harry Potter and Imagination. I mean, let's go back to that, to, that, to that book, the mystery one. What does that say? It's sort of hard to make out. We better, we better look at the cover. So let's get Prinzy out of the way. Okay. We, we looked at you uh, the last time. You took up my lunch time. Okay. Let's go to a, an, another one. Um, okay, here we are. Black book in the top. Let's pull it down and what are we going to see? First thing. It's gorgeous. That is a lily. That is an Easter lily. The author is Logos Pilgrim. That's a username. I know the author is a, a, a woman though. She, um, she goes by Logos Pilgrim. And this is Bring Forth the Best Robes, A Spiritual Understanding of Severus Snape. A whole book on Severus Snape. What more could you want in life, really? She's actually going to write, apparently, two more books. It's not really a trilogy, like, uh, like Villa Luz is trying to do, but these are just a whole series of three books. Logos Pilgrim is a, um, is an Orthodox Christian, uh, which means she is in the Christian faith, just not, just, uh, from mostly, it's Eastern Europe and Greek, the Byzantine, uh, Christianity, that's where it spins out of, uh, when the, uh, the, the center of Christianity left Rome for a little while and went to uh, Byzantium, which is, uh, Constantinople, it went there with Emperor Constantine, uh, that's basically the foundation of Orthodox Christianity, but it doesn't really break with Rome until 1054, which is called the Great Schism over the, uh, that has a lot to do with the words, um, in, uh, and the Son. The Holy, I think it's the Holy Spirit proceedeth from the Father and the Son. Anyway, big wars because of the filioque, uh, because of the words and the Son. I guess the pen is mightier than the sword. Magic's might. Hmm, this is that's interesting. Anyway, Bring Forth the Best Ribs. This is a gorgeous book, beautifully edited. And I know John Granger, uh, he, I know I talk about Granger a lot, he, he knows Logos Pilgrim. And she has her own website, you can see her, she, um, she dresses like Professor Snape. It's, it's really interesting. But anyway, let's open this up. And there's one chapter in here for each of the Potter books, and she looks at Severus Snape's role in, um, in, in each of the books. Here she has, uh, two quotes. Do not condemn, not even if your very eyes are seeing something, for they may be deceived. St. John Climacus, and then choose what to believe. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is an understanding of Snape's journey as uh, the redemptive, the penitential Christian. So the contents, here are the chapter titles. Preface, and then A Psalm of Snape, Wisdom, Who is Blind as the Lord's Servant, Second Chances, Stillness, The Prince's Temptation, and Learn From Me. So this is a, uh, a spiritual understanding, a Christian, um, especially Orthodox, but Christian understanding of the character of Severus Snape. Um, in between passages from the book, which she'll, under, which she'll uh, examine in a Christian context, are uh, scripture passages and other great writings of uh, great Christian figures. I'll give you an example here. Um, I don't want to give it all away, but let's look at Prisoner of Azkaban here. Um, he, t or actually, he's looking at a growing pains. He's looking at Goblet of, of Fire and um, 
It's not really the greatest of examples. I don't know. This this book's hard to explain. It's just it's beautiful. It almost left me in tears at the very end, where you get that learn from me, um, which is her interpretation of uh, look at me, the, Snape's last lines before he dies. So, um, and it ends with love is above everything. The weapon is love. We know this from Harry and the Potters. So, love is above everything, from Elder Porphyrius. It's just, it's a gorgeous book. I, I don't know what more to say. I'll read the back of it here to you real quick. Repentance is not a once and for all gesture. It is a state of the soul, a constant rededication, a determination to rise after each fall. It enables us to see love, whether it is as statuesque as a tree or as frail as a seedling. Through repentance, the awareness of our own weaknesses allows us to view the weaknesses of others with immense compassion and to appreciate the value of their offering. In St. Macarius of Egypt's words, Does the man who plants a vineyard immediately gather grapes, or does he who sows seeds in the earth at once reap the harvest? Using Professor Snape as a template, I wish to extol the best of everyone. This is just, this is a beautiful book. I can't urge, um, I can't over-urge how much you, you need to, you need to get this book. Um, yeah. It's just, it's, it's so beautiful. And it's only about 100 pages long. I think it was like 15 or 20 dollars. I know this is also available on hardcover. I really want to get it in hardcover. I'd love to meet her. And she's written other books besides this on, um, on her spiritual journey and on her faith. So... I want to leave you with the image of the lily because it's just, it's really gorgeous. Okay? Mystery book solved. Bring forth the best robes. The Spiritual Understanding of Severus Snape by Lois Pilgrim.